Yo, all up fam, today we're gonna be doing some stuff with the f in the f in the f Today's tutorial is the most requested tutorial out of any tutorial ever, okay? I see it in the comments. One on, please, talk sound, how you do it? Tell me one no. I I need to know how to do this, my family, my wife. Well, who better to done diddly go to than the man himself? Who created it? Your boy. I mean, don't get me wrong, all right? I didn't, I didn't make the, <laughs> but I did, I did start the, <laughs> and the. <laughs> so what had happened basically was, I would be on Teamspeak all the time, you know, a few years ago, and I heard Zero doing this in a battle. <laughs> Something like that, all right? And I was asking around, I was like, I was like, did you hear Zero doing that? I obviously did, didn't imitate it because I couldn't do it, but I was like, you heard it, right? Some guy was like, bro, that is not even Zero's noise, it is someone else. And I was like, okay, regardless. This inspired me to want to do this noise, but I couldn't figure it out. So, I did the next best thing. I tried to figure out my own technique to make the duck sound fast. And you might be wondering, why are you telling me this? Just teach me how to do the noise. Well, for one, I like to give you some little backstory. Plus, two, I like to give you some motivation to be like, Wow. That's what you were thinking when you tried to come up with this sound? So, yeah. Now, the first part that we're going to need to understand, believe it or not, is the duck sound. Individually, truly. So, how do you do it? Well, there are multiple ways to do a duck sound. You could do it like Reap's one, where you do it from the position of a case snare, <coughs> aka an outward rim shot, and then you push it beyond that. But this is not what we want. We want it on the side. When you use the side of your tongue, it's gonna sound like this, or at least you want it to. And this is called the Rallic hi-hat. So I'm not gonna dwell on this too much, but I am gonna teach it because obviously you can't do my technique without this part. I'm using the back of my tongue right here. I'm basically applying pressure to the back of my gums, upper gums, and it's really airy. So it's not like, it's really subtle. So you almost want to be relaxed. This is the hardest part. It's also the hardest part to explain. But once you get this down, everything is going to be downhill, uphill. Everything is going to be easy from here. So with the Rallic hi-hat, he actually adds a some type of hi-hat and like almost like a behind it. So it's like anyways, that's not how I do it. So we're going to be learning it the one known way. All right. Now, instead of using Rallic's technique or that one's actually done by saying la 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 la. I think this is article or out checks technique. We're going to be going over mine the first. So obviously I love the duck technique and you guys hear me use like in the but they were both inspired differently. I already explained how I got inspired by zero with the with the I was actually inspired to make this by Helium's ever ever I watched Helium's YouTube video, it's like Helium's most musical beatbox or something like that. And that's when he first did the ever and I wanted to be able to do it, but I realized very quickly that he just mastered it in his own way. And all he was doing was saying eh and the trumpet. Mm. That's how you had his technique. It was very simple, but it sounded so good. So I was like, what if I try to put something else before a trumpet and I try to mess with it? Originally before, it was 
it was you can actually hear me in my world championship elimination towards the end yeah basically over time it went from a duck sound into the trumpet into I just slowly converted into not using the trumpet because it was kind of hard to use and it didn't hit that well at World Champs. It was like one of the few things that didn't. It was like, eh. So I just started going. It's basically the same thing, but I just don't do the trumpet part. I just kind of do a muffled version of like speaking. I was doing that for like a year. And then I thought to myself, what if I like made it high pitched or used like a falsetto? And that's when I came up with. Which it's literally the same concept as the other one. You just use a falsetto, so. The sound and technique and concept itself is pretty easy it's just overall getting it to sound good luckily i'm a god so it just came naturally to me i didn't even really have to try for you it's probably gonna sound like well it's quite all right if you can't you know if you can't do it like that like right off rip we're not all gods but you will get it but you must remember this all stems from the duck sound, the cleaner your duck sound is, the cleaner the... Just to give you an example of what you're working with here, what you could be achieving in the future. This is what I want your pitch to sound like. <laughs> the next step. Is going to be <laughs> if you have made it to this point of the tutorial now and you could now <laughs> and <laughs> you have earned exclusive rights to <laughs> this one's actually pretty easy as well the trick here is saying TK's with the duck sound but what I don't tell anyone is it's actually LK. When you use the duck sound, you're actually pronouncing a little bit of an, an L, like I said earlier. La 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 la. <laughs> so now the trick is to say LK, LK, LK. <laughs> you change the pitch of this by opening and closing your mouth. <laughs> Now, if you're at this point and you can do all of these, your name is probably Remix or Trong Bao. And for everyone who's like, it is Trong Bao sound. Trong Bao doing duck before one known. Well, here's your proof. He got inspired by me as well as Remix. But yeah, that's really it for this tutorial, guys. It's it's a hard sound, I'm not going to lie. The concept is easy, and getting the difficult techniques is actually pretty easy. Also, I notice a lot you like check out my content, but you're not subscribed. 71 percentile. What's that about, man? What, what was that? Please, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, I have started a Patreon account. If you guys want to support me there, $5 for Beast Mode, $12 for Sage Mode, and if you want to be a god for $30, these all come with a lot of perks. I am dropping a clothing line soon, so you will have a bunch of discounts, early release information, etc, etc. So, I will leave all that information in the description below, so make sure you go check that out, guys. Uh, until next time, make sure you stay safe. And you better duck son. <laughs>